Hello, everyone. I'm Randy Kay. We have some breaking news that we want to uh, continue to follow here out of Waxahachie, Texas. There is a chemical manufacturing plant on fire. We want you to look at these pictures coming to us from KTBT. We haven't seen anything like this level of a, of a blaze of fire of smoke in, in quite some time. Uh, there is certainly concern for the surrounding areas, including an elementary school in that area. Uh, I want to bring in now uh, Nicole Donald Golden, who is with us. Uh, Nicole, can you can you give me an idea here? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's Donald Golden. Um, can you please give me an idea of what is happening there on the ground? Uh, well, the only thing we know for sure right now is is uh, the the building where the fire began looks to be a complete loss. Uh, there's several departments responding to the fire, still attempting to put it out. Um, all of our employees and anybody who was visiting the plant at the time the fire began has been evacuated and accounted for. Um, so that was obviously our first concern. Everybody is out and safe. Uh, I wanted to ask about this uh, Wedgworth Elementary School, which is in that area. Uh, so if everyone is safe, does that mean that the school has been closed or where are the students at this point? Uh, that I don't know. They're not uh, in, in visual range. We are next to a, a college that has been evacuated. As far as the elementary school, I, I don't know the status, but I do know they are upwind from the fire. So any of the fumes and the smoke are all being directed the opposite direction of the school. Can you help us understand uh, what caused this and how it got so big so fast? Uh, no, I'm sorry. We, we don't know that at this time. Can you give me an idea of what type of gases are, are in the air and how dangerous this might be? Um, I'm sorry, can you ask that again? Can you give me an idea of what type of gases might be in the air and how dangerous this might be? Donald? All right, it sounds like we've lost uh, Donald Golden. He's with the Environmental Health and Safety uh, he's the manager there, and we will try and get him back on the line. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you'll continue to look at these pictures now from our, our affiliate WFAA coming into us from Waxahachie, Texas. We're focusing here on a, on a chemical manufacturing plant uh, that's been on fire if you're just joining us. Uh, the concern has been uh, elementary school in the area. These are, this is some new video coming to us. You can take a look there at that thick black smoke. Our Chad Myers was telling us uh, just moments ago that Radar is actually picking up this smoke. It's so thick, so heavy that that radar actually thinks it's rain and puts it there uh, on the radar map for our uh, meteorologist to pick up. Uh, the question is, um, are, are there dangerous gases? Uh, we'll continue to check on that, but it is the Magna Blend uh, chemical manufacturing plant, and, and this is a major industrial fire there in Texas. So please uh, be sure to stay with us. We'll continue to watch this and hope you will uh, as well along with us. Uh, a little over an hour ago, uh, we haven't. We sweep it. And uh, do you have any idea what might have caused this yet? Are you getting any information from your people there um, on the ground, or when did you first get word of it? Uh, a little over an hour ago, uh, we haven't. We sweep. They haven't issued any press uh, announcement yet. Uh, well, we're waiting for uh, the city director of public information to hold a press conference, which I understand is. Uh, going to be happening here shortly, uh, waiting on more information as to the cause. Uh, at this time, uh, we haven't received any reports of injury, but again, they haven't uh, issued any formal statement, so we're, we're kind of in the dark. I mean, the, the pictures of this fire uh, coming to us now uh, on screen from KTVT, the flames and the thick smoke, which seems to be uh, spreading throughout the area. Where are you in relation to where this is happening? Can you see anything from where you are? Uh, we can see, I, I'm at uh, the paper office, and yes, we can see the smoke from here. We're about five miles away. Have you stepped outside? What does it feel like out there? Um, you, you can just see the smoke. Uh, it's moving up high in the atmosphere, so it's not down low to the ground. Uh, but uh, all my staff is uh, near the near in close proximity to the scene, and they said it's uh, really intense up there. All right, uh, Neil White uh, with the Waxahachie Daily. Uh, Neil, we appreciate your time and, uh, and certainly the new information that you gave us about some of the evacuations there uh, in Waxahachie, Texas. Uh, Neil, thank you very much.